the tide pools a place for many types of creatures. There's big ones and small ones and those with spiny features. It's a tough way of life in the intertidal zone where we all live together, but we're all on our own. And although we live together, we don't eat the same. Some critters even eat each other. Gosh, what a shame. Sometimes a predator is lurking around. So you hide and you hope that you will not be found. Now the king of the tide pools is, well, you know who. He's got many arms and many feet too. He turns out his stomach to snap up his prey and then sucks it back in and has food for the day. Then there are those with two shells together who wait for the tide and the chain in the weather for that's how they eat. When the water comes through, it brings breakfast and lunch and a dinner meal too. Some will eat whatever's in sight. A morsel, a chunk, or a really tasty bite. They'll eat plants and meat and anything in between cause they're mean, hungry, eating machines. Next, there are those who will eat what is dead. They'll scavenge the tide pools until they are fed. From seaweed to fish to dead organic matter, they'll roam and they'll feed until they get fatter. And last but not least, there are those who won't eat anything dead or decaying, and especially meat. They only eat plants or vegetation type gruel by using their mighty tongue as a food grasping tool. Just a day in the life of the intertide pool.